Hi, this is Edip. I am a peacemaker. I live in the United States for 26 years. Um, I have a few words for American Christians who voted for Trump. You voted for a racist, for a misogynist, for a bully, for someone who wanted to kill the family of terrorists, for someone who is a sexual predator, I don't know whether you understand my English, hopefully, uh, who is a <coughs> xenophobic, um, who is a, an elephant, well, a camel, according to the Bible, the biblical definition, or maybe it's elephant-sized pig. Let me read a few verses from the Bible. Um, it is uh, in several uh, Gospels, in Luke, uh, Luke chapter 18, verse 18 to... 20 some I will read a certain ruler asked him ask Joshua you call him Jesus but his real name was Joshua um, maybe even a little bit different than Joshua Yeshua Yeshua a certain ruler asked him good teacher we what must I do to inherit eternal life. He said, why do you call me good? Jesus answered, no one is good except God alone. You want to read it? See it. Unbelievable. Trinity doesn't exist even in Gospels, which was Gospels, which was written uh, between 80 and 120 years after Jesus. Interesting. Later, fabricated, coined, 325 years after Jesus in Nicene Conference. Says, don't call me good. If he was claiming to be God or son of God, <laughs> which they turn it to make it equal to God, well, he wouldn't rebuke this guy these ways. Says what? Why do you call me good? Jesus answered, No one is good except God alone. You know the commandments. He reminds the commandments. We start with two verses, strict monotheism. And then continue. Do not commit adultery. Do not murder. Do not steal. Do not give false testimony. Honor your father and mother. After reminding him, the first two commandments by saying only God is good, he lists several, reminds several other commandments. All these I have kept since I was a boy, he said. When Jesus heard this, he said to him, the guy says, all these, I'm sorry, I forgot the quotation. And then the guy responds, says, all these I have kept since I was a boy. He said, when Jesus heard this, he said to him, you still lack one thing. Sell everything you have and give to the poor and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. When he heard this, he became very sad because he was a man of great wealth. Jesus looked at him and said, how hard it is for the rich to enter the kingdom of God. Indeed, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. And then continues. Those who heard this asked, who then can be saved? Jesus replied, what is impossible with man is possible with God.
Let me continue. Peter said to him, We have left all we had to follow you. I tell you the truth, Jesus said to them, No one who has left home or wife or brothers or parents or children for sake of the kingdom of God will fail to receive many times as much in this age and in the age to come eternal life. Now, this guy, all his life, stole, stole from the work of the working class. He inherited millions and later under the sanctified name of prophet, he basically skimmed the working class in his construction, in his other work. He collected billions of dollars. This money came from the work of people. Of course, capital, the religion of capitalism justifies under the name of few dogmas that you swallow from your birth. Now, according to Jesus, he's camel. <laughs> he's camel, but in fact, he's a mixture of camel and pig and elephant politically. Now, this guy, with all his, his arrogance, show off, lies, congenial liar, serial liar. And he picked several topics that people are sensitive about and then he made up he changed his positions in order just to fool these people he played the game and you Christians just because you have been I'm saying you Christians, you are no different than Sunnis, Shiites, Hindus, all religious people. Most of the religious people I have seen, they are the biggest hypocrites. They are most immoral people on earth throughout history. During time of slavery, they were the biggest supporter of slavery. The crusaders, the kings, the sultans, the clergymen of all religions, given issues, fatwas, religious, um, religiously baptizing and supporting the killers, murderers, invaders, colonialists, imperialists throughout history. Now it is no different. In the United States, you overwhelmingly supported George Bush, which was another liar who made up lies in order to invade a country which had nothing to do with 9-11. It was the Saudi Arabia, their close friends, but they invaded Iraq. They were supporting Saddam Hussein for years, the same guys, selling him weapons to kill Kurdish people or against Iran. He was a great guy that time. But later they turned around for another game and then they invaded Iraq, killed about a million Iraqis and lead the chain reaction that gave birth to ISIS. You supported this guy. You went to your church, you said, peace, love your enemy. But when you got out, you voted for a warmonger, for bigger military, more invasions, more massacres, and more torture. And this guy is also, <laughs> I forgot to mention him on the list of his attributes, he's also a torturer, a person who can justify torture, that person is the lowest of human beings because I suffered torture back in my country in Turkish prisons. I know how despicable are those who torture. Therefore, as a Muslim, means a peacemaker, not Sunni Shiite, I'm not, 
I don't follow Sunni religion or Shiite religions. Though most of them follow, like Christians follow a distorted religion teachings, uh, most of them, they do not act on it like Christians do not act because if Christians and Jews, they follow their book, they would be killing many, many, many people. Jesus did not abrogate the laws in the Old Testament. There is verse in the New Testament. But you are not uh, <laughs> following your own book, thank God. Uh, the fabrications in your book, I mean. Uh, I love Gospels. Most of the Gospels uh, uh, contain the truth. There are some few distortions, which I discuss in my articles. If you check 19.org, you will see uh, my two letters to two popes. Just read those two letters. Uh, you, uh, you can just check the first homepage, English homepage. Write Pope, check find the word in the page. You will see the title of the article and click on it. And I have written a book also, 19 questions for Muslims and 19 questions for Christians. The one for Christians, unfortunately, it's not published. It is in English, but <laughs> it is published, in fact, in the back of the Turkish book, as its translation. Now, here it is. I, my reaction as a Muslim to Donald of course, uh, I, I don't know about this guy, like many of you, because he's fake. He's fake. He doesn't care really about uh, working people. All his life he didn't care about them. He did not pay taxes <laughs> for, that would be used for many services for poor people, working people. And uh, he also did not pay them as much. Uh, when he had chance, he basically betrayed them. Um, therefore, he is a capitalist, a filthy, rich capitalist, who is arrogant because of his achievement of plundering and skimming people, uh, exploiting people. Uh, but we know that he is racist. We know he is a bully. We know he is a, a pervert. We know he is a misogynist. We know he is a torturer because these are not only during election time, even before and after. These are the traits he wanted to hide, but he couldn't help himself. Over and over, he exposed himself. But regarding his... Um, Foreign policy, we are not sure. He is a pragmatist, a Machiavellian, take advantages. In fact, he's a coward, but he appears to be, when he has some powers, he appears to be, he is forceful. But like all bullies, when he's not challenged, he's arrogant and merciless. Um, it might be good. Um, I supported uh, Bernie Sanders. I thought he was a fresh voice. In fact, he was a surprise in American politics. I never heard those truthful statements, criticism of American capitalism, arrogance, and military occupations, and the hijacking of democratic process through lobbies, and bribery. And I thought his diagnosis was great. He may not be a believer. He, uh, I think he's an atheist. But to me, he was a Muslim, a peacemaker. Because Bernie Sanders cared about poor people like Jesus, like Muhammad, cared about the oppressed, cared about equality cared about unity of humanity, was not racist like Muhammad and Jesus, like Moses. Um, and uh, he was against um, military occupations, aggression, warmongering, like Jesus and Moses and Muhammad. Don't tell me about Muhammad you learned. Uh, don't tell me the lies that you learned from uh, Sunnis and Shiites about Muhammad. 
that Muhammad killed these people, massacred, or quote verses of the Quran distorted by them. Check Quran and Reformist translation, and also check Manifesto for Islamic Reform. You will find it as a PDF at 19.org. Now, Bernie Sanders was a fantastic guy, a person with mind and heart. He did not say those things during uh, primaries while he campaigned against Clinton in Democratic Party. Um, he threw out his life for about 30 some plus years as a congressman, as a senator for Vermont. He proved that he is a man of his word. And therefore he was a, for working class people, again it's the exploiters, and again, it's this global system that few, 1%, maybe uh, one-tenth of 1% 1 are sucking the wealth uh, of this world. And they are also creating all these wars and troubles around the world. Uh, I thought he was a fantastic, a great voice, a voice of a just, a brave person, but unfortunately the Democratic Party, uh, which is also controlled by the system, a duopoly system, system of duopoly, fooling people by two parties, which they are twins, evil twins. Um, they basically uh, did not allow him to have chance to be the candidate. Though, to my great uh, surprise that he got, he received a lot of votes, especially from millennium, millennials from younger generation, which is hope. Therefore, Democrat Party, by eliminating Sanders, prepared this defeat. They deserved the, the, this defeat. Because according to the polls that time, uh, in an election between Trump and Sanders, Sanders will always get much higher votes. But Hillary and Trump, Hillary did not have upper hand over Trump. In fact, in many polls show Trump was stronger against Hillary. Therefore, knowing this, despite the fact that Sanders was much stronger candidate that really genuinely concerned about the plight of uh, blue collar workers that lost their jobs during this global economy, manufacturing jobs, um, and cared about poor and middle class, cared about democracy, cared about peace and environment, and they eliminated this guy from the chance, having a chance to run against Trump. Therefore, I do believe that uh, this was a great lesson for Democrats, not to allow this happen again. The progressive should take these lessons, this is a bitter lesson, that uh, Trump, a misogynist, a pervert, a liar, a bully, a filthy rich, a tax evader, basically, oh my God, I don't see any redeeming factors in this guy. And this guy won against the so-called, the most experienced, prepared, proper woman. Uh, therefore, uh, this uh, should be uh, uh, made a big issue in the Democratic Party, Progressive should take over and I hope that within 40 years, what did I say, 40? Four. Four years Trump will be exposed as a liar who he is um, and uh, the election time uh, Senator Warren or someone like her should be the candidate, a progressive, genuine candidate with no bags like Hillary had. Hillary was corrupt, was working for uh, Wall Street and 
Saudi Arabia and Qatar, all these corrupt uh, countries and uh, corrupt banks. Therefore, uh, we want someone who really resembles Sanders, might be younger, and if woman, that would be plus a <laughs> bonus. Uh, we need to have a progressive candidate for Democratic Party. Um, okay. And meanwhile, I predict there will be a lot of turmoil and clashes in the United States if Donald Trump is going to follow what promises he gave, because his promises were hateful, divisive, very dangerous, harmful. And um, as far as for Muslims in the United States, I say Muslims really, they don't deserve the word uh, Muslim, because Muslim is a peacemaker. They are not actively peacemaker, uh, if they are Sunni and Shiites. But I want to tell them, don't be scared. Don't be scared. Because if you are really a peacemaker, if you are a just person, not crook, you stand for your right. Like Moses stood against Pharaoh. If Donald Trump becomes like a Pharaoh, which little chance because the United States still the presidency is not as powerful as you think. There is also Senate, Congress, door. Uh, they are overwhelming right now. They are controlled by Republicans. Still, among the Republicans, there are many people who are not as bad as Donald Trump. And also, there is still a uh, Supreme Court. There are certain check and balances in the United States. Therefore, this guy may want to do some stupid things or harmful things, torture people, kill people. There will be, within the system, uh, there will be some breaks against him. And also, people, more than 50% of the population did not vote for him. In fact, he didn't receive the popular vote. Therefore, let's say 50-50, 51% of the population stands against this guy, especially if he encourages police to kill and torture black people as they used to and incarcerate them more, there will be more... Uh, uh, rallies and maybe even clashes on the street and meanwhile also uh, Latinos and other minorities, even women, if their rights are going to be taken away by this guy, there will be an internal reaction on the street level against uh, the dictatorship of Trump. I say dictatorship because he is a real dictator, a, a fascist who really <laughs> tells us by even who he likes, Putin. Um, these are like-minded people. Uh, and therefore, I'm not much worried. I do believe that American people are not sheep, especially now, uh, during the age of information and internet, communication. There will be great um, re resistance against any dictatorship of this Trump. Anyway, thank you very much for your patience if you listened until now. I'm hopeful that it will be good. Four years, then afterward we'll have a progressive peacemaker leader, inshallah, God willing. What is Islam? Um, what are the sources of Islam? What are the sources of Islam? What is Islam?
burada sen inşallah. Nereye? Gidiyorum.